Sitting at the at the stoplight, ready to turn left out of the gas station, and a car comes in the lane, jumps the curb, trying to turn to the gas station, and just hits my car. <laughs> I begin to think about how God had kept me, yeah. and uh, and if He kept me before, Come on. I know that He will. He kept me through this situation. I was still able to go and do what I needed to do, but, you know, uh, that, I, I got the picture of the, oh, y'all got to see this hole in this tire. And I'm looking, so I'm looking to see, is anybody else hit that hole? <laughs> Ain't nobody else hit that. I guess that hole was for me. <laughs> we laugh about it, but church, things, all things still work together for the good. Yes, amen. Good and bad, God is directing our lives. So you got to attain to that and got to believe that. So I just give God praise for keeping me Amen. One more time. Somebody clap your hands and give God praise. Amen. Because church, it could have been another way. Yeah. The tire could have came off the car. I could have lost control. I was in the left lane of three lanes. And it was the front, it was the front 
passenger side, you know, once that tire blows, the car's gonna pull that direction. I could have been pulled right into oncoming traffic and, and I could have been hit, the car could have flipped, it was going down a hill. So many other things could have happened. But the Lord put that car right over on the side and set it right there. Amen. So I want you to know today that God is still working out on our cases, church. Amen? Amen. And he's still watching over us and keeping us, amen, through danger seen and unseen. So that's my testimony today. Amen. Because, you know, if it could have been another way, I might not be here today. Praise the Lord. But God is faithful, church. And that's the thing that we got to continue to remember that he's faithful. Amen. So I just want to testify. Yeah. You got a testimony, bro? Ruben? Go ahead, testify. So I just got a quick testimony. So um, you guys know that I was in an uh, accident recently where I got injured at work. Amen. So um, it's just telling me that devil's angry with us. He's been attacking us, like you say, Pastor, all the time. The devil's definitely attacking us this year. He's been, we've had members that have gone out to health issues, injuries, they're attacking our family. Thank you, Lord. So all I can say is stay faithful because God, we're That's doing right. something right because right. the devil is definitely Amen. trying to take us out. So just That's stay faithful. Right. Don't right. lose that faith. Right. Amen. 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 Somebody clap your hands, shout hallelujah. Amen. 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 Now this is the brother that was on the motorcycle. That's right. Going, whoever knows however fast a motorcycle goes. <laughs> <laughs> slid down, hit the guardrail, slid down the guardrail, flipped over the guardrail. Is that right? No, oh, slid down the guardrail and got up and walked away. Right. How you slide down the guardrail? Come on. It's the Lord. I said it's the Lord. Church is the Lord. I'm trying to tell somebody it's the Lord that keeps us. So, so every time you get in the car and you need to ask God, Lord, I thank you for keeping me. Yeah, I know that, Amen. And, and doing everything because that 95 has it out for the saints Amen. and everybody else. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. So, so I just want to let you know that God is God is faithful, church. Amen. Y'all haven't seen the house of God today. Can I Amen. Testify, I'm going to testify, Brother Dusty. Go ahead and testify. Can tell it. I was going to tell it. I wasn't going to tell it, but tell it. The fellas testifying. Praise the Lord, church. Praise, Praise him. Lord. Well, Amen. it's been a while since I've been in here, and I'm so happy to be in the house of God. Amen. I thank God for keeping me. Well, like three weeks ago, you know, close to my house, and thank God my daughter didn't get it, but I got got that. Then a week later, my back went out and all that, but God kept me, like like people said. If you have enough faith of like a grain of mustard seed, you can do anything, you know, to grow on God. But I'm gonna, this is a blessing right here too, so I got a letter in the mail that a personal loan I had at Lindmark is paid off. Praise him. Six thousand dollars. So that then I said, okay God, what do you want me to do next? So he um the car like my old car was going out. Like it was like six, seven thousand dollars worth of stuff I had for them, so I'm like, okay, God, what do you want me to do? You want me to fix this or you want to go get it? So he's like, well, I want you to do this. Go down to the car dealership and see what we can do. So we went down to the car dealership and we got a new car. Praise him. So, more more reliable, and I think it's going to hold my back even more. And I'm just telling you, Satan has been in my house for the last two and a half weeks. But the Lord. And but the Lord. But the I Lord. tell you what, the Lord. Satan ain't got no control over me or none of us in here. That's right. We got the power. We got power. All you got to do is tell him to flee and he will flee. That's he right. He has to go. Amen. But um, I just want to appreciate y'all, all your thoughts and prayers. Pastor called me this morning. He's like, man, where you at, man? You doing all right? You need to get back in here to the house of God. That's right. So I said, yes, sir. I mean, I've been helping my mother-in-law move in because her situation, her situation over there with her other daughter was not good. So I prayed on that for like a month or two, and God said, "Yeah, you got to get her, get her out of there." So, and she did tell me, she did tell me yesterday evening. She's like, "Man, you're a good son-in-law." Praise him. I said, "Yes, I know, I am." I said, <laughs> "I said, you are dusty. You, you are. Ain't, you ain't got to worry about nothing." Praise him. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You just come in here, make yourself at home. 
you ain't got to worry about nothing, I'm going to take care of you. Amen. So, but she said, I got to get something. I said, that's up to you, but. And then I'm going to tell you one more thing. Um, so I'm in here after I come back from somewhere. I got you know, two neighbors over there. Or like maybe they're in their 50s or 60s or something talking about. She's like, do you know how to put this on a, um, a lawnmower tire on? I said, well, I got to get a jack and all that. And I said, what do you need? I need someone to mow my lawn because the other guy didn't do a good job. I said, okay, I do it. Don't worry about it. She said, do you want money? I said, no, I don't want no money. This is the kind of man I am. I said, so I went over there. I said, I mowed her grass and the other grass. And she said, if I get money one day, I get it. I said, no, man. This is just a this is the kind of guy I am. I said, this is what the Bible teaches us. We got to help each other out here, church. Amen. This world is, you know, is, this world is this world we're living in, you know. We got to help each other out. Amen. If your neighbor's hungry, feed them. Yeah. If he's thirsty, give him a drink. Give him a drink. Yes. If he needs help, help. Because guess what? You're going to need help one day. Amen. They, they, they might be like, you don't need no help. We all need help, church. So oh, that's all I'm going to say. That. So I appreciate y'all. Thoughts and prayers. And continue to just pray for me and my family. I appreciate it. Amen. Amen. Come on, clap your hands. Shout hallelujah, church. Amen. 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 How many of need one another? We need one another, don't we? Amen. Thank God for the testimony. I didn't expect all that, but thank God for the, for that God is still watching out for our brothers. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm gonna, is that all right? I'm gonna get into the word of God. Is that all right? Amen. I think if somebody says, Don't stop shooting them arrows. Don't stop shooting them arrows. I know that's right. <laughs> Amen. Don't stop shooting them arrows. Second Kings chapter 13 today. We say praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll take an offering at the end. Amen. We're going to read two, two, two verses here in 2 Kings chapter 13. I'm going to put it on the screen here, verses 18 and 19. I'm going to give you what the God gave me today. Hallelujah. Everybody, can everybody see it and have it? Say amen. 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 And he said, take the arrows. And he took them. And he said unto the king of Israel, smite upon the ground. And he smote thrice, three times, thrice, and stayed. Can we read 19 together, church? Amen. And the man of God was wroth with him and said, Thou should have smitten five or six times. Then hast thou smitten Syria till thou hast consumed it. Whereas now thou shalt smite Samaria, Samaria but thrice. Father, we give you praise. Thank you for your word. Speak to our hearts in Jesus' name. You never see in the house of God. Today I want to speak to you from an aspect of the scriptures. Don't stop shooting. Amen. Don't stop shooting. Here, we say praise the Lord, our saints and friends. So glad to see everybody in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, I want to share with you a very familiar story in out of the book of 2 Kings about when Elisha the prophet was dying. Elisha the prophet was dying and he was talking to King Joash. Or Josiah, Josiah, or Joash, his name, both of those. This, this man was the last living descendant of the house of David. His, he was the last one that escaped the hand of his grandmother, Alethea, that killed everybody else out, except for his last descendant. He was trying to do the best job he could at defeating the Samaritans. The Samaritans represent the adversary or the enemy. Amen? The Sumerians represent those who are what? Coming against us. Or they were coming against Israel. Samaria represents the world and the things that are not of God trying to take hold of the things of, of the ways and the things and the things of the people of God. 
I heard in the testimony this morning that they said the enemy is always after us. See, the enemy has the world. All that's in the world, what church is what? Lust of the eye, lust of the flesh, pride of life. What he does not have is the church. Amen. So that's why he's always trying to get what don't belong to him. Come on. Amen. We don't belong to the adversary. Amen. But he's always trying to tiptoe himself down into my house, trying to cause disruption and ruckus in my house because that's his job. His job is to steal, to kill, and destroy. If he had a mission statement on his wall, I believe that's what it would say in his, uh, defined, in his, in his wicked office, wherever it may be. Praise God. The enemy, praise the Lord. But, but, but here the prophet and the man of God, praise the Lord, has spoken a word to the king about where his victory is going to come from. He speaks a word to the king, praise the Lord, amen, about, amen, how if you just put up a good fight in the name of the Lord, the Lord will give you the victory. Yeah. The most important thing, church, is that we cannot stop fighting the good fight of faith. We cannot, praise the Lord, back up from where the Lord has brought us from and established our goings. Amen. Praise God. But we got to put our foot in the ground. Hallelujah. And make a place. Amen. And a habitation for God so I can move to the next level where God's trying to take me. There is no next level without tests and trials and tribulations. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's an old song. Praise God. We, we don't sing it here much. I don't want to sing it. But I'm going up the rough side of the mountain. Praise the Lord, because the reason why the rough side of the mountain is pertinent because it is the rough side of the mountain where your muscles get stronger. It is the rough side of the mountain where your mental fortitude is established. It is the rough side of the mountain, praise God, that causes you when you get to the pinnacle of the mountain. Amen. God has made you into what God has called you to be. That would not have happened if you went up the smooth side of the mountain. Some of us have been praying, Lord, for a better relationship. Some have been praying for a deeper faith. Some have been praying, praise God, hallelujah, for a, amen, a stronger anointing. But baby, all that comes with trouble. All that comes, praise God, with tribe, with, with tragedy, amen, praise God, and disappointment, praise God. If you have disappointment and tragedy and happening in your life, you got to know that that's nothing but a signal for God taking me to where he's trying to take me to. Jesus said for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. He despised the shame. Amen. He had to go through, amen, the trial. He had to go through the beatings. He had to go through, hallelujah, the torture and the torment. He had to be nailed to a cross. And he had to die for three days that he might get the glory that God had already set aside for him. And if Jesus had to do it, what keeps us from expecting us to go through the same thing? That's right. They cannot strange and fiery trials come our way, church. Praise the Lord. And the story here today, hallelujah, speaks of a king that was fighting an enemy. He was speaking of a king, praise God, hallelujah, that was looking for some help from the man of God. Amen. He goes to Elijah, and Elijah is on his deathbed. Elijah, praise God, is getting ready to go on and be with the Lord. He tells the king, 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 oh king, praise God. Hallelujah. I see the situation you're in. Uh, oh king, I see, hallelujah, what the enemy's trying to do. Uh, you need to take, amen, some weapons of your warfare, hallelujah, and begin, praise God, to use them to defeat the enemy. See, when God gets in your weaponry, amen, no weapons formed against you, and no enemy will be able to stand against you. The enemy, the anointing, God in the slingshot with David. The anointing, praise God, hallelujah, God in the Red Sea, the anointing will get in you and give you the victory. You just can't stop fighting. Come on, man. I know that's right. The anointing got in that slingshot. Come on, man. Right. <laughs> Only way that slingshot going to hit what it did is because God directed it with his power. That's right. 
Only reason why, praise God. And so he tells the king, king, take these arrows and shoot these arrows through the open window. Shoot these arrows eastward because that's where the adversary is. Praise God, church. We do not fight the enemy. Praise God, running from the enemy. We fight the enemy head on. Praise God. He said, put on the whole armor of God. Your armor is only on the front of your body. Hang right. on the back. You gotta face them head on and say, you know what, I'm not gonna let this thing move. I gotta press towards the market of the pride of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, church. Amen. Praise God. The king, praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Begins to listen to the man of God. Amen. He takes, amen, his weaponry. Amen. He takes him, praise God, and he only takes it and he only smites three times. Amen. The ground. Praise God. Hallelujah. And what the king was trying to understand, praise God, was that he didn't understand what the plan of God was. He didn't understand, praise God, that numbers matter. He didn't understand, praise God, that your intensity matters. He didn't understand, praise God, that your persistence matters. Matters. Your hallelujah. He didn't understand, praise God, that you gotta keep going back to God till you get what you want. Hallelujah. The man, the man, the judge said he was wicked and unjust, but he said that woman kept coming to him and kept asking, and I don't fear you, I don't fear God, I don't fear nobody, but I'm gonna give you your petition. You gotta learn how to keep going to God till you get what you want. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. Look at somebody say you gotta keep going, you gotta keep going to the throne. Look at somebody say you gotta keep pressing towards the mark. You gotta keep shooting them arrows, sir. Ain't no time to back up. Ain't no time to give up. It's time to step up. It's time to put up. And it's time to pray up. And it's time to praise up. Because my am what God called me to be. I am more than a conqueror. I am a holy nation. I am a peculiar people. I have been chosen in my generation. And I will show forth the praises of him that brought me out of darkness into this part of life. If God has brought you out of anything, open up your mouth and give him a praise right there. He brought me out. I said, he brought me out. He said, he brought me out. He brought me out of some tough situations. Has God brought anybody out of some tough situations? Hallelujah. Praise God. I talked about a couple weeks ago. The enemy desired to send you as wheat. But I pray for you that you're not in two temptations. Somebody clap your hands and, and give God some praise. Hallelujah. The enemy, praise God, is there. And the problem is, too many times we look at the enemy and keep our eyes off God. I don't care what the enemy, praise God, going to do. I know that he said no weapon formed against me shall be in a prophet. He told me in his word, hallelujah, that greater is he that's in me. You got to learn how to take your eye off the enemy and get your eye on God. That's right. And when you get your eye off the enemy and start looking at God, you're going to find out that God is able. That's right, man. Find out God is able. The king, praise God, had his eye on the enemy. He didn't have his eye on God. He said, you know what, maybe I'm only going to strike him three times. I'm only going to do this three times because that sounds like it's a good number. You know what, but the enemy, pray God, but the king, the Bible said the man of God was mad at him. He said he should have took him out. See, too many times, church, we only pity pack and play with the devil instead of executing the devil. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you're going to put a bullet in him, put a bullet in him in the right place. If you're going to kill him, don't, don't shoot him in the leg. Shoot him in the heart. You better hear me today, church. Hallelujah. You gave two me of us our pity patty with the devil. He's wounded, but he's not destroyed. I hear God say, I've already conquered the last enemy. So anything the enemy has for you got to die. Because I declare in your life, you got to live. Hallelujah. Too many saints depending on you got to live. Huh? Your children depending on you got to live. Hold on, Shay. Hey, I'm on shot. Hey, I'm on shot. You got to live. I buried my mother 43 years ago. I saw her grave to come yesterday. I could have died with her. Right. He didn't want me to die. I got to get up and keep on pushing. Yes, right. That's right. right. You gotta keep on pushing, church. I know it's tough. I know the way it gets hard. I know the way it gets tough. I know the way, praise God, can't seem like you can't see me away, but you gotta keep on shooting them arrows. The arrows represent, praise God, the anointing and the power are the tools that God has given us. 
The anointing, praise God, gets in the tools that God gives us. That's why, hallelujah, God told Moses, Moses, what got in your hand? He said, I got a rod in my hand. Don't you know God got in that rod? And that rod backed up the Red Sea? God got in that rod, hallelujah. He threw his rod down, ate up the snakes of the Pharisees. I'm trying, hallelujah, let you know that you already got what you need in your hand. And God's going to get in it. And you better learn how, hallelujah, to use it for the glory of God and get the victory. Praise him. The king knew, the king knew how to shoot the arrows. He, he didn't shoot them enough, praise the Lord. The arrows represent, praise God, the power of God that we get through, praise the Lord, the anointing of God. How do I get the anointing of God? The first thing I got to get, I got to get the Holy Ghost of God. I got to get filled with the Holy Ghost. I got to go down in his name in water baptism. I got to be filled with the Spirit of God. Now, how does it go from there? It goes from there because now, praise God, I am already anointed. The anointing can come upon me. Praise God, it's called the dunamis power of God. The dunamis power is the duty of God that causes God to do something in your life. I said the dunamis power is the power that causes God to do something. I'm, you know, I will say it again. The dunamis power is the power that causes God to do something for you in your life. Praise the Lord. Amen. He was mad at the king because he said, King, you didn't do it enough. Praise the Lord. Amen. You got to learn, church. Hallelujah. That, 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 that you got to go on, go above and beyond where you think you can go with God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He began to talk about the shooting of the arrows. And the arrows, praise God, represent the power and the prayer through prayer of God. He tells him, praise God, that there's some things that come with shooting arrows, church. Hallelujah. There's some things that come with shooting arrows. Shooting arrows require effort the name. I need God to show me that it takes some effort and some energy. Hallelujah. In order to put it on the right place, prayer praise has to be targeted and not random. I got to pray. Hallelujah. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. I got to pray for my enemy. I got to pray for my adversary. I got to pray for my deliverance. It's time out for just random prayer. And guess what? It's time out for random praise. I got to let my praise, hallelujah, go up to the throne of God. Why praise God if God does not receive my praise? Keep on shooting some arrows, church. Keep on shooting. Keep on praising. It requires effort. Hallelujah. It requires effort. Shooting arrows require destruction and help from the prophet of God. You got to know where to shoot, how to shoot, when to shoot, why to shoot, and look for the result of shooting. And this comes from being able to hear what God has to say through the man or woman God he has placed in your life. If you're willing to listen. Stop right there. Everybody be quiet. If you're willing to listen. The word comes but we don't listen to the word. Amen. The word comes and we don't do the word. God speaks to me in the midnight hour. I roll over and do something different. The prophetic word is not just what comes across the pulpit. The prophetic word is written in those 66 books also. Amen. Church of the living God because the preacher and the prophet is supposed to agree what's in the book. Right. I didn't say the book was supposed to agree with him. That's right. Let me, let me, let me say that real quick. Yeah. Let, let me, me say that again. Let me be clear. What the prophet and the preacher is supposed to agree with what is already settled in heaven. Come on. It's time out for us trying to get the word to agree with us. Come on. We gotta learn how to agree with the word. Come on. Let me be clear. It is not by directional. Right. That's right. It's not by directional. It's only one way, right. and it's God's way. Yeah. That's right. It ain't my direction. It ain't, it ain't, come, let us reason together. He didn't say that about the word. He said it about your sin. Come on. He didn't say that about the word. He said, come, let us reason together. Though your sins be a scarlet, I'll wash him. Right. But he, he said, my word is forever settled. It happened. As a matter of fact, I place my word above my name. Come on. Well, praise God. So we got to learn how to church, amen, to ask God's grace and mercy for me to line up with the word of God. I know that's right. Hallelujah. God keeps you in the marrow, church. Come on. 
Praise and worship. Right, when I pray, I got to pray the word. When I praise, I got to praise the word. Amen. Praise God. And these are the weapons of my warfare that God has given me. Look what happened. Shoot arrows. Praise God. Has to be done through an open window. Praise God. I got to have access to the things of the kingdom. Amen. 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 I said amen. Praise God. Because, 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 because Elijah told the king, amen, I'm in the house shooting an arrow and the window's closed. What is that going to do? If you got to understand, church, is that you got to have access to the kingdom. Right. And let me tell you something. You got it. Amen. I say you got it. You know how I know you got it? Because Jesus said the kingdom of God is where? Within you. Within you. When you got the Holy Ghost. Right. You have access to the kingdom. Yeah. Everything that God has, yeah. you have access to. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Some of us don't realize that. Right. Some of us don't realize, praise God, that I am a living epistle. Come on, say it. Written and read of all men. What are they reading? They're reading what God has done for me in my life. If I want to start today, then what they read? Well, he woke me up this morning. Come on. And he started me on my way. I don't have no reason to hang my head. Though things are happening, I still have to look up for my redemption. is still drawing nigh today. As a matter of fact, he has enough nerve in the Bible to say, this is the day that the Lord has made. Then he tells us how to behave in that day. You shall be glad. Aaron yeah, Joy said it. That's what that's, that's, he tells how to behave in the day. Come on. Aaron, you gotta have you gotta have access to the kingdom church. You gotta be able to praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. I got to make sure that my praise and my prayer reaches the throne of God. Yeah, my That's right. The Holy Ghost is like encryption. Come on. <laughs> The Holy Ghost is like VPN, a virtual yes. private network. Right. A virtual private network goes out there into that big old internet and creates a secure connection from point A to point B. I know that's right. It's encrypted. encrypted. When I go down and start speaking in another language that God gave me, the devil, I don't know, but above all, the devil don't know. Come on. I know that's right. And watch this. The Holy Ghost is so bad. Somebody say, he's so bad. He's so bad, he's so bad that all I got to do is go, hmm, Lord. But moments and others that cannot even be said, pray God. And he can interpret that you need some help. That's right. Somebody just need to learn how to say, well, that's why I'm most right. saying, oh, Lord. You're like, what you saying, Mom? I just call on my help. Because right. God knows how to interpret the most. God knows how to interpret a cry. God knows sometimes, church, you're going to do some stuff that you don't know what to do. And all you can do is say, oh. That's right. That's and God right. says, I hear you, baby. I hear you. I hear you. And I'm coming to your rescue. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. God have access to the kingdom, praise the Lord, yes. church. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Shoot arrows. Praise God. Has to be known. Hallelujah. Not knowing exactly where an arrow is going to go. Because when you shoot an arrow, you really don't know where it's going to go. You got to believe that God will lead that thing where you need it, where it needs to go. Why serve God if you don't have no faith? And your faith is going to be tested. And it's going to be tried. And he says when you get your test, faith tested, you shall come forth as pure gold. Hallelujah. Faith has to be in full effect. Everybody say full effect. Full effect. Can't be, amen, real shriveled up and dried up like you ain't watered it. And praise God, you ain't watered your faith, amen. You ain't prayed, you ain't fasted, praise God. Your faith real dried up. Come on. And even if you have been praying and fasting, guess what? Your faith can still be real dried up. Right. Cause I need God to see my faith. I talked about it on Wednesday night. Lord, see me doing what I'm supposed to do and come in and do something great about me in my life. Amen. I got to keep on shooting arrows. I got to keep on praising. I got to keep on praying. I got to keep on pushing. I got to keep on going. Look at somebody say, keep on going. 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 We got to learn how to overcome by the word of God in our test. We got to tell somebody, you got to keep on going, church. Hallelujah. This king was was struggling. He didn't just have his own self to deal with. He had a whole nation to deal with. Hallelujah. 
He had to learn how to keep on pushing church. Look, 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 shooting arrows is, it was ineffective, praise God, because, amen, it was not repeated enough because it reflected confidence in the process. Oh, Jesus. If any man be in Christ, he's a what? New creature. All things are what? Passively, behold, all things are becoming new. Becoming new means it's a process. Somebody say process. You got to trust the transformational process of God's word in your life. Fuel to prayer and praise. That's right. Got to trust the process. Got to trust the process. Right when you take a car on the assembly line, when the car starts on the assembly line, it don't look nothing like it does when it gets to the end of the line. Right. Everything you see at the beginning of the line is usually up underneath what you see on the outside. But if you don't have none of that stuff underneath, no matter how pretty it looks on the outside, you ain't driving no place. God is trying to build some infrastructure in you. God is trying, praise God, to build, amen, a foundation in you. God is trying, praise God, hallelujah, to give you something, praise the Lord, hallelujah, as the choir sung this morning, praise God, when the raving winds and the seas come through your life, you got something to hold on to. That's right. Anchor. Hot shot. Yeah. Right. We got to trust the process. Right. Yeah. That God is changing me from the inside out. Change does not take place from the outside in. The David said, Lord, David said, Lord, created me a new body. He said, Lord, give me some new green hair. He, David didn't say that. He said, Lord, created me a clean heart, oh God, and renew the right spirit. Transformation always takes place from the beginning, inside out. Right. Hallelujah. But it's fuel, the fuel of my transformation of God's word has to come through prayer and praise. Praise God. A lot of shooting arrows is a, is a strategic moment. When that moment passed, it is gone, church. There are times and places where we have to do something in God, and we don't do it right then. We miss the moment. That's right. We miss the moment. You got to believe God. Uh, God, what you have a plan and has for you is in the right place at the right time. He has a plan for you, church. He, he told Jeremiah, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Right. Thoughts of good and not of evil. Right. And bring you to an expected end. Not your expected end, but my expected That's end. That's right, his expectation. Just like we got to line with God's word and the word not line with us, we got to understand that God has an expectation of us that he's going to bring us to. That's right. But if we don't move when we're supposed to move, if we don't sway and shuffle when God tells us to do something, guess what? Guess what? We, don't, we might just miss what God is trying to do in our lives. Because timing matters. Amen. I said timing matters. Amen. Now is the time. This is acceptable hour. God is speaking to the church to let us know that we got to make our calling and election. How church? For sure. Amen. Hallelujah. Ain't no time to back up. Church, ain't no time to back up, ain't no time to give up. It's time to step up, put a stake in the ground, and keep pushing forward. I know that, right? Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Fail, failing to shoot arrows hurts others and not only myself. What happens if I don't even shoot the arrows? Whether you believe it or not, someone else is dependent on you to do what you need to get God's plan done. Right? Somebody, look at somebody say, somebody's dependent on you. Look at somebody say, somebody's dependent on you. I, and guess what? I don't care if you want the responsibility or not, because I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of telling, of hearing saints say, that's not my responsibility. It sure is. That's right. Amen. That's right. It sure is, whether you want it or not. That's right. He told parents to raise up a child in the way that it should go. Yeah. Right? Amen. When they get older, they apart from it. Praise oh. God. Some of you are managers. Some of you, praise God, are department chairs. Some of you are auxiliary leaders. Some of you, God has placed in positions, whether you want them or not. And some, you know, husbands and wives, amen, aunts and uncles. You know, I find out how important aunts and uncles are to families. I know that's right. Praise God. Amen. Uh, how important these leaders are in here, praise God, that keep us moving. Amen. Those, and we got to thank God that we have godly people in our midst. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But, I, but you know what? Sometimes, praise God, we get mad, amen, of playing in the sandbox. We're going to take our toys and leave the sandbox. I'm done with you. I know that's right. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> 
things go this way, things go that way. But he's trying to see if you're still going to stay on the narrow way. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Keep shooting the barrels, church. Keep shooting. Don't stop. Ain't time to stop. Almost got it almost there. And then, boom, something happens. Try to get you to back up. But that's time when you got to. <laughs> you got to do that. And guess what? If you can't do it by yourself, find your brother. Oh, that's right. Find your brother to come and help you along the way. I know that's right. Somebody say amen. Because the Bible still says two are better. One. We are helpers. One of another. You don't have to deal with it by yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep shooting. Keep praising. Keep sharing. I feel a dance all around. Keep, keep, keep shooting. Everybody just do this. Just keep, just keep, just keep, just keep, just keep shooting. 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 Sooner or later, you're going to hit something. Come on. Amen. Right in the booth. Sooner or later, you're going to hit something. You know, I was watching. I was watching Troy or Alexander the Great. But it's also in Black Panther. They get those archers out. They will roll up. They just. And they overwhelm the enemy, not because there's one, because there's what? So many. Them guys with them shields, you go back and watch, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all seen those movie scenes happening where they shoot me. And, and that, that, arrow come, that, that arrow will come through that shield. It's going to hit something. Keep shooting, keep praising, keep, keep worshiping, keep celebrating God, keep doing something. Amen. Sooner or later, that situation is going to have to. Let us stand. I don't know that. Let us stand. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. We're going to pray today. Hope someone said to encourage your heart today. There's still power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Still power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. right now in your name God that you oh Lord give us the wisdom and knowledge and understanding and the fortitude Lord to pick our bow back up 
and to keep on shooting and fighting the good fight of faith. We pray, Lord, for every individual. We pray for every family. Yes, Lord. We pray for every household. We pray for every, every business that we work at. We pray, oh God, hallelujah, for every church that's connected to us through our family and friends, oh God, that you do a work, oh God, hallelujah, make our ears tingle, Lord. God, that you do a work. God, that you, oh God, will do something great in the life of God's people. We pray, Lord, that we, oh God, are used for your glory and for your great name's sake. Taking no glory of ourselves, but giving you all the honor and praise. Knowing, Lord, you've already given us everything we need in our hands to fight the good fight of faith. Oh God, anoint us afresh. God, help us line with your word. Help us, oh God, Father, do your will. And God, we will give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, if you believe God's word, come on, clap your hands and shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, saints, come on, lift those hands. Come on, lift those hands and shout hallelujah. Break every chain. Come on, we need somebody in these minutes. Break every chain. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah.
I'm going to get delivered. Yeah, There's something more in your life that you don't know how to manage. Let's talk to the men and women of God. Let's get out of that situation. The opportunity is here in the house of God. Amen. Amen. And we're here to help. Amen. Amen. I just want to encourage you. Thank you, ministers. Praise the Lord. Thank you. We can already take up our offer before we do that. Uh, I want Isaac and Gabriel to come on up here. Praise the Lord. For two reasons. One, praise the Lord. These are our young men from Long Island. Somebody say amen. 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 And they're, they're, they'll be, uh, they haven't started school yet, have they? But we want to pray for them just like we pray for the others. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. Praise the Lord. We want to pray for them and dedicate them to the Lord. Yes. Amen. Not just for school, but for their lives. Because, yes. you know, they're here and they're here today. And we're going to we're gonna love on them. Yes. Somebody say amen. Yes. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to pray for them. Pray for great grades. I don't know what to do with the oil or that. Pray, 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 pray for their mother. Amen. Yes. Praise yes. God. And Sister Jennifer continue to do the work of mommy. Yes. Praise the Lord. Because right. she's there. She's striving yes, she to do the work of mommy. Yes. Anybody glad about mommy? Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Glad about mommy. Glad about mommy. Yes. Glad about mommy. Yes. You better love on your mother. Yes. 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 While she's here, y'all better love your mother while she's here. Y'all hear me? Amen. You know my testimony. You know I buried my 43. I always I, I tell me to see my mother. She's in a she's in a vault, in a hole, in a hole in the side of a building. I'm, I go hug the building, but that ain't it. <laughs> so if, you, if your mother's here, you better go find your mother. Love her. I know that. Cause ain't nothing like a mother's love. Amen. And for all y'all little stinkies who ain't fall listening to your mama. You better get your act together. That's right. All you little stinkies. You stink in your behavior. You stink in your face. You stink. I feel like parenting today. You stink in what comes out your mouth. You better fix it. Honor your mother and father that your days may be long. You hear me? You better fix it. You hear me? Don't you be talking to your mother in your own country. I know that's right. Yeah, I said, I better say it while I can. Let's pray for you. Come on, D. Come on up here. Father, we give you praise. Thank you for these young men. Lord, we give you praise. We love you, Lord, for what you're doing in their lives. God, we, we dedicate them, oh God, not just back to you, oh God, before the school year coming up. God, we ask you to bless them. Jennifer, Lord, continue to strengthen her and keep her, oh God. Continue to move by your power. Lord, we ask God that you anoint them first. Watch your angels be upon them, Lord. Let them have good grace. Let them be obedient. Lord, let it come, learn it come easy. Open up opportunities. Keep them safe, Lord. Protect them. Let your angels come around about them from all hurts, harm, and danger. Lord, we just give you praise and give you glory. In Jesus' name, let the church say amen. 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 Come on, clap your hands, y'all. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. That's right, all y'all sneaky little kids. Y'all better get yourself together. Amen. 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 Because mom will buy you McDonald's, mom will buy you Jordan, mom will buy you uh, 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 Crayola crayons. Amen. Mom will buy you a bicycle, mom will buy you, praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Polos. Amen. And, and uh, 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 Nike. And all that stuff. You want to act like you done lost your mind? You know you be sleeping at night. You might come in there. I'll tell you, let me tell you, one of the worst beats you ever had is when you're dreaming about me and you wake up and it's actually happening. Some of y'all don't know nothing about that. Anybody know about it? Don't put on another put your hands up. Because the day, the day that would be considered child abuse. Yes. Right now I think I'm getting beat. Hey, hey, hey! You don't know nothing about that, dude. Oh, I know that's not bad. Y'all, some of y'all don't know nothing about it, but some of y'all do. Yeah. yeah. Old school right there. Old school. Yeah. And the church, the church is supposed to support our parents. Amen? Support our parents. To bring and to learn to grow you up and to nurture the admonition of our Lord and Savior. You know, we're here to help. So I hope I said something helps some parents in here. Amen? If I said something helps some parents, somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Let's take our offering. Somebody say amen. Amen. 
Amen. We know that we're going to give and it shall be given unto you. What church? Good measure. Press down, shake together, running over. Also remember that we have missionary. If you did not get, uh, you got your breakfast this morning, please make sure you put that on Giveify or put it on your envelope. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Uh, we just want to continue to support. Thank you for your, for your liberal giving. Amen. Remember your tithes and offerings. If you haven't been tithing, what I want you to do is repent and start first Sunday next month. Right. Amen. Amen. Because you can't go back and catch up. That's right. Because you owe God about 20 grand. You ain't got it. You ain't got it. But you can't repent and ask God and say, I'm sorry. You can start fresh. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're going to stand and take our offering. So come from where you are in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. If you have a natural offer, you can give it at this time. All right. Everybody had an opportunity to give? Father God, we want to bless the one 36 and 100 fold that was able to give. We also want to bless the ones that wanted to give that could not give so that they may be able to give next time. And may this often be used for the uplift and keeping your word. In Jesus' name, pray, amen. 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 Come on, clap your hands, shout hallelujah. <laughs> we have a seat for the through announcements. I'm going to let you go. Have a wonderful holiday. Holidays coming up this weekend. Somebody say amen. 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 So holiday. Someone say holiday. Holiday. Take a break. Amen. Take your break. That's why we don't have church on holidays, so you can take a break with your family. So prayer. Six eight prayer. Somebody say amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, we got that. Sacrificial prayer will be next Sunday, 1 o'clock. Um, we have one of our prayer leaders who will be leading that prayer. Amen. So we thank God the ministry of staff is leading that off. Praise the Lord. And uh, or if you want to, if you look, for 2025, if you're interested in leading one of those 745 prayers, just let me know. We'll get you on the schedule. Amen. Uh, next week will be Evangelist Law. Somebody say amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I'm going to tell y'all that you need to get ready because Jesus is soon to come. I know that's right. She's going to tell y'all. That's right. She tells it every day. She tells us. Right. She's going to tell you. So, 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 so she's going to tell you get, get your house in order. She's going to tell amen. you. Amen. September 14th will be in Long Island. Somebody say amen. Amen. Lady Brown, we need a sign-up sheet. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. We'll be there. Anchor to faith. Our council is coming up. Somebody say amen. Amen. Praise God. That is here. Uh, I'll make sure Deacon Murray sends out the link uh, to everybody. You, I think registration is now open. But we're anchored in faith. And that is our fall council will be in Philadelphia. The good thing about the council being in Philadelphia in 24 is that they've already said that it's supposed to be somewhere here in Virginia in 25. <laughs> amen. So we won't have to travel as far on that fall council. They say they'll be down here somewhere. Amen. And we might be hosting the council. And I think that's exciting. We've done it before. We'll do it again. Yeah. Amen? Amen. It's, it's, you get it felt. Vote. Everybody say vote. vote. Look at somebody say, are you registered to vote? <laughs> are you registered to vote? Yeah. Are you registered to vote? Look, I ain't going to tell you how to vote. Just vote. I don't, I don't want to get into politics because God's in politics. So I'll let him stay over here. I'll stay over here. Amen? Amen? But let's make sure that we, we, we vote so we got a general election coming up, so let's go ahead. If you're not registered, let's get registered. Everybody in your family should be registered if they're of age. Can we say amen? Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Breast cancer. There's a walk going on on September 8th. See Sister Miko. That's for the, the, the singles ministry. If you haven't wanted to do that, see her. Somebody say amen. amen. All right. I love you all, and God will keep you. I got these beautiful certificates here. It says certificate of completion. This certifies and proudly pre presented to name in recognition of his successful completion of the International Christian Education Auxiliary ICEA Evangelical Training Association course. Somebody say amen. amen. We got about seven, eight of them here. Amen. The first one is, is Brother Dusty Clark. Amen. Come on, friends. Isn't that beautiful? Next one is Sister Miko. Praise God. Next one we 
got is Evangelist Teresa Law. Next one is Sister Katrika Joseph. There you go. Next one is Sister Cassandra. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the last one I have is Sister Shanine Renoso. Somebody say amen. amen. So glad y'all endured through the class. I do want to let you know that they are looking for teachers, so now's your opportunity. You want to teach. You know, y'all, you know, y'all um, um you know had a little little turmoil with the teachers. So now you get a chance someone that will give you a little turmoil if you want to do that. Somebody say amen. 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 So um, uh, we thank God for each and every one of you. Guard yourself accordingly. Holiday weekend this week. Traffic's going to be heavy on 95. Amen? Amen. It's already going to, it's going to pick up and probably starting tomorrow through middle of next week. Praise the Lord. So just, just govern yourselves accordingly. Check on your family. Check on your friends. If somebody godly, somebody on your heart, reach out to them. Just let them know what you're praying for them. Can we say amen? Amen. Amen. Mental health is real, church. Yes. Mental health is real. Amen. People or things are going on. So the love of God that we have in our hearts don't cost you nothing to send a, send a text. Let it stand. Amen. Because some of y'all don't remember when text were 10 cents a piece. Some of y'all don't remember that. You don't remember that text used to be 10 cents a piece. Some of y'all be texting who, what, where, when, why. That's 50 cents right there. See? We got it. I'm telling y'all, man. Yeah. Some things we do today, we don't even appreciate. Oh, let me let me tell you. When you had the text, we had to press one 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 to get a letter. Yep. Seven seven seven. seven. See, some of y'all don't know that. Yep. Now what y'all what y'all do now? Pastor Jesus, praise the Lord. I want to see. Can you know I see? Y'all just talk to the phone. Oh no, that's right. That's thank right. God. Somebody say thank God for technology. We got to press seven seven seven. Get a R, eight, 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 get a T. Yeah. Up and then back up, Lord. Y'all. Go Father, we thank you for your saints. We thank you for your word you've given us, oh God, that you already told us, Lord, that you put in our hands the things we need to push forward. Let us have the courage and the strength to keep pushing in the things of God. Lord, sometimes the road gets tough. And my soul gets weary. But Lord, you promise in your word, when my heart is overwhelmed, you will lead me to a rock that is higher than me. Keep our people together. Keep our family together. We love one another. We want to see the best for each other. And God covers with your blood and camp out your angels about us. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Somebody say.